हेलो गाइस सो टुडे वी टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज जियोलॉजिकल साइकिल सो जियोलॉजिकल साइकिल इज द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच लैंड फॉर्म्स आर सेव्ड बाय बैलेंसिंग एंडोजेनिक सिस्टम्स एंड एक्सोजेनिक सिस्टम्स सो जियोलॉजिकल साइकिल इज अ कलेक्टिव टर्म यूज्ड टू डिस्क्राइब द कॉम्प्लेक्स इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द सब साइकिल्स लाइक टेक्टोनिक हाइड्रोलॉजिक रॉक एंड द बायोलॉजिकल साइकिलिंग ऑफ एलिमेंट्स नोन एज बायोजियोकेमिकल साइकिल्स so these various sub cycles influence each other and produce natural hazards such as landslide earthquakes volcanic activities flooding ground water flow and weather so actually geologic cycle is a collective term uh, that uh, happens into the earth surface and uh, below the earth surface like uh, uh, tectonic activity collision of uh, uh, plate boundaries and uh, other processes involve uh, hydrogeological processes uh, rock cycles so uh, see here this photo is actually showing a uh, uh, geologic cycle so you can see here this is the hydrogeologic cycles rock cycles tectonic cycles so hydrologic cycles involve uh, rain water and running water as you can see here when rain water is uh, uh, reached to the ground the precipitation evaporation and transportation is occurs due to the transportation weathering and mass washing erosion uh, uh, occurs and finally the uh, weird rock and uh, other material is deposited into the basin or uh, ocean the rock cycle is involve uh, pre existing rock is actually eroded and uh, transported to the ground igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rock is forms as you can see here tectonic cycles is involved when two plates collide the one plate is gone down and the magma is generated into the sea floor so sea floor spreading is occurs mountain building and island arc is actually forms so this whole uh, uh, component is actually involves into the uh, 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 geologic cycles process of uh, geologic cycles so there is two process involved in geologic cycles the first one is endogenic process and the second one is exogenic process so endogenic process is happen internal to the earth it is driven by heat from pressure and radiative decay endogenic process involve fracture the earth surface sets it uh, in motion build mountain and uh, triggers volcanoes and earthquakes example is uh, tectonic cycles exogenic process are happens external to the earth it is uh, isolation solar radiations Exogenic process gives energy to air, water, and ice, setting them in motion under the influence of gravity. So, uh, example of exogenic process is hydrogeologic cycles. So, endogenic process are uh, uh, two types: slow movements, uh, diastrophic, and uh, sudden movements. So, slow movements involve vertical or epigeogenic uh, continental building, horizontal uh, or orogenic mountain building. and uh, sudden movement involve uh, volcanic and uh, earthquake so mountain building or uh, uh, orogenic uh, uh, cycle is involve uh, two process process of compression and process of tensions process of uh, compression and uh, tension is uh, involve uh, fold folding and faulting exogenic process so exogenic processes have uh, weathering mass, mass washing or mass movements erosion and deposition so weathering involve uh, uh, physical chemical biological or uh, weathering can be happen due to th these three uh, process mass washing is uh, slow mass movements and rapid mass movements erosion is uh, occur due to the running water ground water glaciers waves and currents winds deposition is uh, occurs due to the running water ground water glaciers waves and currents and winds so these endogenic and exogenic process is actually very important for geological cycles factors causing uh, geologic cycles so there is uh, various factors driven in geologic cycles the first one is rock cycles so the rock cycle is influenced by all the other geologic sub cycles like uh, tectonic process provide the pressure and uh, heat necessary to uh, recrystallize of the minerals in a rock and transform it from one rock to another hydrogeologic cycles so as i said in previous slide that uh, hydrogeologic cycle is involve rain water and running water tectonic cycles so tectonic cycles is involve uh, uh, like uh, convergent plate boundary divergent plate boundary boundaries and uh, transform uh, plate boundaries 
so for this uh, you can uh, uh, see my previous video on uh, plate tectonics geology time so the geological time uh, scale records various geological cycles which includes erosion mountain building and other geological events see here this is the rock cycles so first of all uh, the magma is uh, generated into the uh, mantle or upper part of mantle and uh, that magma is used to the earth surface the extrusion or uh, intrusiveness rock is forms and that uh, rock is uh, uplift to the outcrops then these outcrops is uh, weathered and uh, eroded away and transported and deposited to the basins and uh, our ocean these sediments after burial compaction and cementation become uh, sedimentary rock again deeper burial heat and pressure is involved in this sedimentary rocks and that transform into the metamorphic rock so metamorphic rock forms by uh, igneous and uh, sedimentary rock so uh, see here the burial process is occurs and uh, metamorphic rock is forms so this is the rock cycles To know the latest updates on geotourism and modern geotechnics, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon.